Okay, ready? Okay, this is a Christmas story. There are two weary travelers who left the dark, dusty road and entered the crowded town of Bethlehem. Everywhere they look, people bustled right past them, heading toward places of rest. They had all left their towns and villages and come to Bethlehem loaded down with bags and baskets in order to be registered and counted. The young woman sighed. She was exhausted right down to her bones. Even though she was due to give birth at any time, she had journeyed right beside her husband to Bethlehem. The trip had been long and tiring, and more than anything, the young woman just wanted to fall right into the bed and take a rest. She waited patiently as her husband went from one inn right to another, then right to another, in search of a place for them to stay. But after a while, it became clear that there were no vacant rooms left in town. Left. The last innkeeper, the young couple spoke to have compassion on them when he saw that the young woman was expecting. He offered to let them stay in the stable, just right behind his inn. It was not what they had expected or wanted, but the two travelers take the innkeeper and followed him right out to the small dark enclosure. <laughs> but, okay. It was right there in that cold stable, surrounded by animals and the smell of hay, that the young woman gave birth to her child, a son. She wrapped him right up in strips of cloth to keep his tiny form warm against the cold air. Her husband filled the feeding through the trough that had been left empty with hay and let the tiny baby boy inside it. The animals gathered around the manger to see the little squirming infant that had been left in the hay. The young woman smiled as she watched them lean right down over right. the child to gaze adoringly at him. They seemed to recognize their tiny king right away. And it thrilled and amazed the young woman to see the awestruck reaction of the simple creatures. Later into the night, there was a commotion right outside the stable. The little family roused from sleep to see a group of shepherds who had left right in the fields <laughs> seeking the newborn child. The shepherds told the young woman and her husband of how angels had appeared right before them right. in the night and had shared with them the glorious news of the birth of the Messiah. They had hurried right off to find him among the crowds in Bethlehem. They all looking and the shepherds left they're bleeding sheep at the door, and they knelt right before the young child in the manger. Iba niya wasak na yung Nakabukas na yung iba niya. So they worship and praise the baby, and shed happy tears of hope and joy as they gaze upon him. They left the stable, and right out right. the city to tell everyone that they met about what they had seen in the night. The young woman picked up the tiny baby boy and cradled him right against her heart. Right. She thought of all the things that had happened that night as they left the place. Left. The birth, the animals, the angels, and the shepherd. She knew in her heart that what had come to pass was miraculous. The Son of God had left his throne in heaven and had come right to the earth to redeem his people at last. The prophecies of centuries ago were being fulfilled right before her eyes. Oh. She looked down at her sleeping child. She knew he was more than her son. She was holding the king of heaven of earth, the hope of mankind, right in her arms. Right. Are you... Are you all right, everyone? Right. No, all right is different. All right. Are you all right? All right, right. <laughs> so, I think that's what the Christmas story is all about. Oh. So, did you get it right? All right. All right. Did you get it right? Okay, that's it. That's your ah.